So in this video, I'm going to show you how to create an email that includes dynamic content. In the first video, I showed you how to identify leads and contacts that are interested in, in our example, our implementation services. And so now that we can identify them, we want to send them an email. So we have to construct the email. So I'm going to come down here under library, email templates, create using basic template one column save as the template So this is the template that I chose. So we're just going to jump right into adding dynamic content. So if we come down here to dynamic and so you can see this one here is a picture and a text. So we are going to add that one and we're going to say if the industry is insurance, you can see it put it down here. Move it up there. So if it's insurance, so let's click here on this picture. So if it's insurance, we're going to use this car picture. And for the content, we're going to say So in CRM, we have CRM synchronized with Zoho Marketing Hub. So I know my leads and contacts, I know what industry they are in. So when it's synchronized over to Zoho Marketing Hub, before we send this out, it's gonna do a query. It's gonna say if, the if that leader contact is in the industry of insurance, show them this picture and this text. And so we're gonna do the same thing for if, if they're in the construction industry. So we'll leave that industry is construction. Done. And so that's going to be down here. And so let's just go ahead and set this one up. Picture. We're going to say it's construction. And we can say. All right, and so let's move this one up here. Up. And so we'll put in our logo here. Change this to small. I'm just gonna take out this picture. We do hello, insert first name and so now what we have here we have we have created an email that we're about that we can send let's just say hello first name and if they're in the insurance industry they're going to see this and if they're in the construction industry they're going to see this and so let's just delete these two delete delete 
read now button properties we can say we want this to go to or landing page of choice save okay so this is the dynamic content email that we created and that we'll be sending out to people immediately after they uh, meet our web assist goals when they click on those three pages when they click on that third page they're going to be identified and they're going to get this email um, you know, shortly afterwards